Ash45 here, and today we are doing the review of the TMNT Mute Mayhem figure. Uh, today we are doing Genghis Frog. I have his bio right here. Uh, Genghis Frog. He may not be as large or menacing as his compatriots, but Genghis Frog is part of the team, dang it. Okay, he's cute, fine, but this cute, this cutie can bring the pain. And he has a 1 on the Mute Menace meter, because he is absolutely tiny. And this review will probably be very short, so I possibly... We'll have a secondary figure to boost our time. So starting off with him, he is very small. <laughs> um, he is very tiny, which is accurate to the movie. Um, so he has these yellow eyes that are just going off to the sides, and he has his lopsided nostrils. He has this Hawaiian shirt on with these purple pants and a belt. Nothing else really noticeable. Going over articulation, he has no head. Um, and in the arms, he has rotation and hinge at the shoulders and rotation at the feet. And he does stand perfectly fine like this, but honestly, I'll probably just have him in this more wide-footed stance because it kind of helps him stand up a little bit better. Um, he does have an action feature on the back. He has this dial. And if you turn it up, it's a little stuck on here, but his tongue will pop out. And then if you pull it back in... If you turn it down, it goes back in, so you can have him go, you know, you know, like a frog or Yoshi. And since this review is pretty short, I'm gonna go on and just bring in the accessory. Normally, I do a fade, but he only comes with one accessory, which is this axe and chain. And um, this chain is removable if you don't want it. But personally, I like the chain on here; it gives extra support. So I'll just get it into his hand real quick. I always just do this with his arm out because it's easier on me to do it that way. That's in, turn that, that's in. And, you know what, just for the, whatever, let's just stick his tongue out, move that back, and lift that up. And that's pretty much Genghis Frog. Oh, here, I'll just put it back in. The axe is very nice, his hand's super big. <laughs> it's goofy. But overall, that's Genghis. Um, I very much like this figure. I love how tiny he is. I just love how small this boy is. And definitely, he is a good buy. Um... Regarding Monogaku, by the way, I have looked so hard for that figure, I cannot find it for the life of me. I'm probably ever, either just have to order it online, or hopefully somebody finds it for me, I don't know. Hopefully I get that, and I'll be complete. Uh, normally, I do it on my table over there, but uh, it's a little bit of a mess right now, so I have to do it over here. My DVD collection. That's a nice background, though. But, uh, I'll, uh, see you guys in the second half of this review half this review will be focused on wing nuts the uh, robo bat i meant to say that your frog is a croaking bloke um wing nuts bio wing nut is legitimately a horrific freak of nature that's honestly the nicest way of putting it the very sight of her nightmarish eyes and demonic wings will mess you up good she's two on the mutant menace meter <laughs> so yeah, she kind of honestly is. Honestly, because think about it, it's just... I like this figure. I like the details on it. And, um... This is one of the few figures, actually, that I will be doing. That I actually have an original to compare it to. You'll see a side-by-side -side comparison with the original Wingnut figure from 1990. But, uh, as you can see, he has very much... It goes full on with that vampire bat design, which I think is really cool. Because she has like the fangs and the nose and all that. <coughs> I like the uh, robotic black and blue kind of costume. Um, very Batman esque, which is the characters and can kind of just be a parody of Batman. And she has these purple wings that are translucent, which is the membrane, and then uses the the pink is the fingers and the wings. So these actually, in biology, these would actually be her legitimate arms. And then these are just fake arms, I guess, to fly on her. And she also has a tail on the back. She has this here. I have no idea what the word But it looks very interesting to say that. But, um... So I'll cut here and I'll get the original wing nut and we'll do a side by side here. here. Is... <coughs> Mutant Mayhem Wingnut, next to the original from 1990, 
And yeah, definitely you can see where, like, the original definitely is, like, the Adam West Batman. And, uh, Wayne Knight does have a utility belt on her as well, on the 2023 one. And both of them actually are removable. Except I'm not gonna take them off for obvious reasons. Um, interestingly, Wing Nut, the original, has more organic arms. And the wings are organic, but they have little metal enhancements. But Wing Nut in 2023 has organic wings and mechanical arms, which actually I think would be more accurate. You know, it makes more sense. And then accessory wise, I'll get into 2023 Wing Nut in a minute. But the 1990 Wing Nut also comes with a gun. He comes with a grenade instead of like a, a boomerang battering. And he also comes with, oh, you can see him on the top, he comes with screw loose. His little friend. But this version of Wing Nut does not have that. That would have been cool in the movie, but that uh, makes sense, I guess. But, um, it's interesting to note, you know, to see the original wing nut compared to the brand new one right here, and see how they changed that design over the last couple of years. Um, I forgot to go over wing nut's articulation. Um, so she has a retaining head. The shoulders are, they swivel and hinge, and then just a hinge at the elbow. Twist, swivel at the wrist. Hinge and swivel at the upper leg, and then hinge and swivel at the knees. But let's get into accessories. The first is um, this gun. It's a grappling hook gun. This is very similar to the original Wing Nuts weapon, except it's in blue and black instead of just being all one color. And actually, the original Wing Nuts, all his weapons are yellow. So, there's your gun. And she also comes with this battering. This one also feeds into the Batman references. The original wing nut was more of his costume. This wing nut is like the weapon. He never uses either of these in the movie, by the way, which sucks. I would have loved to have seen these weapons in the movie. Here she is holding her weapon. Personally, I'd probably just will stick with the gun. The battering, don't get me wrong, I like that. But it's not really something I'm a fan of. I just like the gun better because, again, it's very much like the original. And overall, I do like this figure. This honestly, I think Wingnut is honestly my favorite figure so far out of this wave. Um, I'll have to see if Mondo Gecko changes my opinion though. But, yeah, as of right now, I really like Wing Nut. I like this figure. She's a really good figure. If you can find her, please get her. She's a really good. Although she didn't do much in the movie, the figure, she does it justice. Honestly, she's really cool. Uh, thank you for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.